We're getting it, we're getting it, we're getting it. There she goes, come on, no loose traction. in St. Paul, Minnesota for the Institute of Navigation's Autonomous Snowplow Contest. It's a yearly competition that invites university and college engineering students to use their navigation and control technologies to create robots with the sole purpose of clearing as much snow as possible from a designated area without any human intervention. Engineers kit out their vehicles with radio beacons, lasers, optical and ultrasonic sensors so that the robots can autonomously navigate themselves. With thousands of dollars in prize money at stake, plus a whole lot of bragging rights, the robots and their makers get ready to plow. Growing up in Michigan, you know, we, uh, I, I woke up at 5 a.m. excited about a snow day and then I'd go shovel the driveway for an hour. The idea is that, that this would re completely replace someone having to do that. And especially in bigger cities such as St. Paul, where we are right now, it could be very helpful to have these robots working at night to clear all of the snow. So that way when everyone's coming to work the next day, it could decrease the number of slips and falls from the ice and that kind of thing. Our first team up is the University of St. Thomas, one of our hometown teams. Any Thomas We're using a laser rangefinder uh, technology called LiDAR that can map your uh, an unknown environment and sort of learn what your driveway looks like. So it can now navigate that space to plow your driveway. And this is our robot Auto XL. The things that we need to do to have a really good run is really stay on track with our localization and our path planning to make sure that we, uh, we plow the exact path that we want and move the most amount of snow out of the way. There's a huge deduction for, miss, for hitting obstacles, so we have to miss our obstacles if we want to get into first place. This little guy right up here, it's a ultra-wideband beacon. It uses a radio frequency to communicate with other beacons that we place around the field. That gives you the distance between this and all the other beacons, and from that you can back out the robot's location. So we have to de detect a stop sign during our competition run. We have two webcams here, and they're just looking for red octagons, and they stop whenever they see that. Whoa. 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 Right, wow. The technology that we're developing here can be used for autonomous cars, same basic concept. It's really easy for us as humans to look around and figure out where we are um, in relation to everything around us, but your computer just has no concept of where it is. So you have to use all of these sensors together um, to, make that, to make that determination. And I think we're done. All right, done. Whoa. We had an award for most coordinated plow and headwear looks. Wendigo would win. The Wendigo plow is four-wheel drive. This is all optical. We put up some posts with some large reflectors. We're shooting a blue beam of light at it. We were hoping to be able to catch that blob of blue reflected back at us. So Snow Devils takes kind of a simple approach to autonomous navigation. Um, we actually use magnetic sensors and a magnetic uh, strip. So the idea would be that you could embed this strip into a sidewalk or bury it along the edges of your driveway and it'd be able to pick up that strip and autonomously clear uh, a snow field from either your driveway or sidewalk. Hear that? Our motors are failing. All right, kill it, kill it. We're done! Oh. I'm feeling good, but I just wish we would have done more, but we always got next year. The first place for this year, after a long weekend of competition and lots of challenges, the Team Auto XL, Case Western Reserve University. Congratulations. Just seeing how much progress that the autonomous car, for example, is coming out, 
Um, I'm very excited about the future for autonomy and for artificial intelligence. I think it, I think it can just do so much good. It can say it can literally save so many lives. So that's what really motivates me is that, uh, you know, I, I, what I'm good at is learning things. So I want to be able to learn things.